lesson, I'll show you how to bind the extra pivot grid to data and customize it by creating a simple application that has a pivot grid bound to an access database. First, let's drop a pivot grid onto a new form and make it fill the entire form area. Now we need to create a data source and bind it to the pivot grid. Just like the extra grid, these actions can be done at once by the control smart tag. I click the Add Project Data Source link to start the Data Source Configuration Wizard. The first step is to choose a data source type. We'll choose Database. Hence, I leave the default option and proceed to the next page to choose a data connection. I get to create a new connection here. All I have to do is locate the desired database file on the disk. And I'm done. In the last step, I'll choose the data table that will supply data to the grid. The orders table will do nicely in this lesson. I'll specify a meaningful name for the data set and click Finish. The wizard has been completed and, as you can see, I have not only created a data source but also bound it to the pivot grid. Now I'm going to invoke the pivot grid's designer to add the required fields from the data source. I'll switch to the Collins page and add the desired fields by double-clicking on them. I can now modify the selected fields properties. To group the fields values by year, I select the order date field and set its group interval property to date year. I can also change the caption of the field. We'll call it year. Next, I'll add a second order date column, this time setting its group interval to date month and change its caption in the same manner. Now I need to specify the fields that will be available as filters in our pivot grid. To do this, I select the desired fields and set their area property to filter area. Finally, I'll choose the freight field to supply the data to our pivot grid. I select the field and set its area property to data area. Now I'm done with customization, so I'll close the designer. Then I'll run the application to see the result. You'll see that our pivot grid is displaying the total freight cost for each month of the year. Let's apply a couple of filters to it. We'll further break down the cost by country and city. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.